Our societal activities are releasing tremendous amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. The CO2 is increasing temperatures and acidifying ocean waters at a faster rate than observed in millions of years. A formidable scientific challenge is to predict the long-term response of species to the simultaneous warming and acidification. For us, we want to know how will oceanic animals respond to these extraordinarily fast changes. The answer depends on two different mechanisms of change. Phenotypic plasticity, or acclimation, is when an organism can change its performance based on the environment over its lifetime, not over successive generations. Evolutionary adaptation is when certain genes that enable individuals to do well in an environment are selected for. Thus, the genetic makeup of the population changes over generations. The focus of our study will be on evolutionary adaptation and whether it can mitigate the negative consequences of the greenhouse effects. We study copepods, tiny aquatic crustaceans that are the most abundant animals in the oceans. Copepods are keystone organisms that link the production of tiny photosynthetic phyloplankton to upper trophic levels such as fish. Moreover, through their processes of ingestion, respiration, excretion, and defecation, they play an important role in global biogeochemical cycles. Copepods are excellent model systems to test the response of the oceanic biota to climate change because they are short-lived and amenable to laboratory culture. This allows the performing of multi-generational experiments to identify the role of evolutionary adaptation in response to climate change. Our experiments test for the individual effects of temperature and acidification and of their combinations on a variety of traits like fecundity and survival that determine the ability of copepod populations to thrive. Our work compares warm and cold adapted copepod species. Lastly, we combine this novel experimental approach with genomic analyses to explore the underlying genetic mechanisms for adaptation to these stressors. Combined, our work is likely to provide novel insights into adaptation to thermal and CO2-related stress and emerging properties that lead to adaptability. For more information, visit us online at DAM Labs at the University of Connecticut, Department of Marine Sciences, and Pespany Lab at the University of Vermont.